The Maine legislature adjourned back in March and has required a special session to vote on bills. Democrats have voted to do so, but Republicans have not. And that means a lot of responsibility will likely fall on this next group of lawmakers. In Skowhegan, political signs are a sign of the times. Incumbent Democrat Betty Austin is running for a third term in Maine's House of Representatives. She says the key issues she cares about are health care, education, and finding ways for the state to make money so people won't have to pay more taxes. I want to see more people be able to lift themselves up and have jobs that they like doing. Austin's challenger in District 107, which represents Skowhegan and part of Madison, is Republican Jennifer Poirier, a longtime member of the area's school board who says she wants to see change in leadership. Poirier says her key issues are reducing spending in the state, helping businesses hurt by COVID-19, and improving trades and living skills programs. Well, the state budget is way beyond its means and we need to reduce that spending to make Maine viable in the future. This political battle is one of many across the state of Maine as the future of the 130th legislature hangs in limbo. The rubber's going to meet the road and something's going to have to to give. Trey Stewart is the assistant Republican leader in Maine's House. He says this election represents a critical juncture in dealing with financial challenges. The problem is not that uh, the citizens are not taxed enough. The problem is that the government spends too much. Officials with the House Majority Office declined an on-camera interview, but say Democrats voted to return for a special session to vote on bills while Republicans refused. The Senate President and House Speaker have worked with others to create a plan for the next legislature to meet, designed to serve as a guide for whoever is elected. People need to work together. The divisiveness is getting us nowhere as a state, as a country. You know, if we just would all listen to one another more, we might come to a place where we could agree. Trey Stewart says the reason Republicans did not vote to return for a special session is because they want to focus on Maine's state of emergency and budget challenges, saying Democrats want to run business as usual. On September 17th, Governor Janet Mills sent a curtailment order to try to maintain budget stability amidst the pandemic. You can find out more about that on our website and mobile app. In studio, Chloe Tebow, News Center, Maine.